going over the total here in this one, and this is uh, one of many times in the CFL where you see uh, rapid revenge opportunities. Teams playing a home and home, uh, back to backs against the same opponent here. Uh, a lot of times, people like to see it. You know, you can go ahead and look at the film and make some defensive adjustments, and that will help the game be lower scoring. But I think that the other way around here, I think these two teams, they were knocking on the door. They land on 50 last week. I think by going back to the film room, which is all I think you really have to do, you don't get much uh, time uh, to practice here when you're traveling, especially across the country. I think they go to the film room, find some holes in the other team's defense, and the offenses can explode that much more. Now, guys, one thing I've noticed this year in the CFL a lot of the blowout games aren't going over the total, but it's been the tight games that have been going over the total. You need two to tango in the CFL. You need a back and forth contest. Now, last week, it was all Argos in the first half, then it was all Stamps in the second half. In this time around, I do believe these teams are going to trade a lot more. We have an Argos team that struggles against the pass and a Stampeders team that struggles against the run. One key point I want to mention here is to be a different quarterback for the Argos. And you hear a lot of talk in the NFL, and I hear people talk about it in college football as well. This guy's an under quarterback. This guy's an over quarterback. Well, the quarterback they're starting this week, Nick Arbuckle, is much more of an over quarterback um, than Cameron Dukes, who was the starting quarterback last week. Dukes doesn't throw the ball further than 10 yards per pass. Arbuckle kind of, you know, his coaches give him the will to throw the ball a little bit farther downfield. So when these two teams get together, questionable defenses, second time playing each other in as many weeks, I think this one goes way over the total. Last year, this exact matchup in Toronto, guys, reached 70 points. I don't know if we'll get that many points, but I do expect a ton. We'll go over 50 and a half in this one.